Hey everybody, Tyler Florence here. Welcome to the Wolf It Down Test Kitchen. Matt, my Sarah, and I have got a great recipe for you today. We are gonna show you how to make the classic dish fish and chips. You love it? Love it. Love it. Great, perfect recipe. It's all about the texture of the crispy batter and the perfectly crispy potatoes and also an amazing tartar sauce recipe that we're gonna jack up with fresh chilies. I've got the perfect combination of all three. You're gonna love it. Let's get ready to roll. All right, so we're gonna start this recipe off um, by par baking our chips, our potatoes, right? So we've got some, these are these are big ones. Those are, yeah, large Yukon Golds. <laughs> it's like no joke. These are big Yukon Gold potatoes and these are my favorite. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna par cook them by baking them um, a little more than halfway through, right? And what this does is it sets the starch so when you cut it, it's not gonna oxidize. And then we're still gonna quickly fry it two more times, once to blanch it, and then ultimately a third time when we're cooking it with the fish. And it's all gonna come out golden brown for the most part, the identical color between the fish and the chips, and it's gonna be perfect. And again, just some salt around top of this, and we're gonna throw this into the oven at 350 degrees. And again, we're gonna cook these for about 25 minutes. So you wanna do this before you get anything else going. Get the potatoes in first. Pepper, help, help yourself, man. So we're gonna cook these until we can take a paring knife and kind of drop it through and feel a little resistance. Okay, let's do tartar sauce. Tartar sauce is kind of like that ranch dressing base. Yeah. You know, and that's 50-50 mayo sour cream all day long. And then we're gonna add sweet pickle relish. And I like to add some of the liquid, right? Not a lot because you don't wanna make this watery. We're also gonna add um, a little bit of garlic powder to this, some fresh parsley. I love fish and chips, man. Do you? It's like my go-to pub food. It is. All right, so we got parsley, and then we're gonna take some chilies, right? So we're gonna take this serrano. Half of this, I'm gonna take the seeds out. On the other half, I'm going full bore, seeds and all. So add a little bit of salt to that, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now I want you to look at the consistency of this too, right? So it's not too thick, and it's definitely not too thin. Next level, folks. Delicious, innovative, classic, all at the same time. Let's check the potatoes first, let's see what we got. They're gonna feel a little raw to the touch, but this is just enough, see that? It kinda comes out nice and clean, nice and soft. This is just a pre-cooking process to set the starch so when we cut them, the potatoes don't oxidize. We're gonna cut these right down the middle, okay? Now see how the steam coming off of this? Now the starch is completely set and cooked. We're gonna cut these into just perfectly great, look at that, chips. Okay, so we're gonna let the steam kind of cool off a little bit, all right? We're just gonna put these on a sheet pan and just put them on the back counter. We got some good fish here. You wanna pull that up? This is really good cod, right? And, and, uh, and we got this cod at the grocery store. And cod's my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Stays flaky, moist. Yeah. This is probably not for what? Four people? I like the aspect of kind of cutting this kind of thin too, right? Because that just means it's going to cook faster. So fish. Fish is cut, right? So let's talk about batter. I think when you get a fish and chips, it, sh it shouldn't be a little crunchy. It should be a lot crunchy. And that's part of the fun. Mm -hmm. That big, oh, uh, Texture, texture's everything, right? So what we have here is a cup and a half of all-purpose flour, and then we have five tablespoons of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, okay, and a half a teaspoon of just some good sea salt. One thing I like to add to this from time to time is just like some really good garlic powder, half a teaspoon. Stir everything together, and then what we have here is uh, 12 ounces of Soda water. Now you got this really perfect consistency. You see this? Perfect. Nice and light. It's gonna stick. It's not gonna be too incredibly heavy. So we're gonna set up a little station. We're gonna dredge the fish in flour before we put it to the batter, just to give something uh, for the batter to cling on to. All right, but before we do that, we're gonna cook the chips for the second time. Again, these are thrice cooked potatoes. Okay, so again, this is the second cook, right? So you wanna make sure just the potatoes are cooked all the way through, right? You see that? The next time we fry them, we're gonna fry the fish, fry a handful of potatoes, fry the fish, a handful of potatoes at the same time, and then they're just gonna be perfect. Now we're gonna take the fish, shake off the excess flour, okay? Then it's gonna go into the batter. What you wanna do is you wanna float it before you fry it. So you wanna just swish it around a little bit, okay? So it starts to set the batter, and then you start to drop it in. So we're gonna drop in a second piece, 
And then we're gonna take some of our potatoes and we're gonna throw these in with this. And now we're cooking the potatoes for the third time. Dude, crispy fish, beautiful potatoes. We fried a little parsley. That's gonna be a nice little garnish on top. But you can't have really good fish and chips without the crispy bits. Crispy bits, folks. So we got this batter. This is how you get crispy bits, okay? All right, so we've got our oil still on, still nice and hot. We're gonna take a fork, okay, you see this? All right, and then we're gonna go in and we're just gonna drizzle, frizzle the batter in like a little snake motion and watch these little crispy bits start to pop up and float, right? So we're gonna fry these up, kind of fold them in, and then uh, I think we're ready to plate. Amazing recipe, my friends. Cheers. Right? You're gonna love this one. Go to our website, wolfwithdown.com, click on the recipes, download the PDF, put it wherever you put that kind of stuff. But make this, it's great. So good. Thank you so much for watching Wolf of Down. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for further recipes, and we'll see you next time in the test kitchen. Take care. Nice one, man. Wow.